evening and uh, welcome to the Brecon Beacons once again. Uh, I started off on the southern horseshoe of Penavan but uh, going up uh, what we've always called the Roman Road. I don't know if it is or not, either way. And I've just turned off to go uh, up towards the top of the plateau here. And then I'm gonna work my way across to the Northern Escarpment, somewhere east of Fannebeg, and then start looking for a pitch. I know this pitch is up there. I've been there a few times before. Um, just out for a quiet night, to be honest. I'm not aiming to walk a great distance or anything like that. I just want to get out and chill. I'll show you where I'm going. I'm going up, up there. Uh, there's a cairn at the top. I've got to stop part of the way up to get some water. And uh, at the cairn, I turn left onto the Brecon Beacons Way. That will take me out to the northern escarpment. And uh, yeah, hopefully a nice quiet night. We're looking at low winds, 15 mile an hour max they say. Probably mean a bit more than that. Uh, clear skies and hardly any wind tomorrow at all. So hopefully I can pitch right near the escarpment and take advantage of the views. Anyway, we'll see. If you disturb a sheep while it's on the path, for some reason, it or they will walk farther along the path. Then look behind you, and see if you're still coming, and walk a bit farther, and a bit farther, till eventually uh, one of them thinks, this is dumb, why don't we go off to the side? There you go. I really should put my uh, sunglasses on. I'll get towed off when I get home. Okay, we are on the top now. You can see the cairn behind me. So I've just got to go north for a little bit. There's another cairn just up there where the Brecon Beacons Way turns off and heads towards the northern escarpment. And uh, well, that's where I'm going. It's a beautiful evening. Bit of a breeze, probably 10 miles an hour maybe. It's not going to worry me. Look at that behind. That's uh, looking down towards the South Wales Valleys down there. Absolutely beautiful. I'll keep the, uh, the view north for when we get to the escarpment if you don't mind. Anyway, let's get on. It's about quarter to eight. I need to get a move on now. All right, catch up with you in a bit. Right, I know up in the Dales you've got your limestone pavement. And look at this. So we're on the Brecon Beacons Way now, heading almost due north. Pretty cool, eh? It goes on for quite a while. Now this is a proper pavement. None of that stuff with all the big holes in that you can get down in and break your ankle. Pretty cool, eh? There you go. Nice. So that's what we've just walked across. A bit of a plateau over there. Taking me about a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes. Now look where we are now. Here's the northern escarpment. And then down there is half of Wales. You can see the Cambrian Mountains way, way in the distance. I apologise for pointing you at the sun, but over there you've got Fannybeg, Cribbin, Penavan, and Condy. Now I am aiming over there somewhere for a pitch. Wow. Pretty cool, eh?
Great, eh? Absolutely great. So this is a uh, find a bag. And uh, great. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. Still got about three quarters of an hour before I need to uh, put the tent up. So I'll uh, dump the bag and have a look around. There's my new tent, a Lanshan 1, 2021 model with a longer, longer inner. I think this is possibly the best I've pitched it so far, but we'll see. You can see I've taken a leaf out of Novice Wild Camper's book, put a trekking pole on the end, hold it up give me more headroom. Yeah, I'm quite impressed. I, this is the second time I've used it. I used it in the lakes a couple of weeks ago, but uh, well, you'll have seen the video for that. Didn't go to the well. Anyway, I haven't set up inside yet, so I'll show you that in the morning. Right, on tonight's menu, we have a cup of soup to start with. That's tomato soup. Then, I've got some pasta sauce, that's tomato, onion and herb, with some chicken that we had left over from our Sunday roast. And then I'm going to finish it off with, if I can get it, I got some of these sticks of cheese and biscuits. So three course dinner tonight to celebrate being out and being on my own. Right, let's get the show on the road. First things first, boil some water. So there's my soup. That's okay, see, it's still a bit warm, but uh, yeah, lovely jubbly. I think the pasta is going to be ready before I drink the soup at this, right? Because the soup's still a bit warm. So there's the pasta. Just going to put the chicken in, and then I'll turn it down to try and simmer, I think. Come on out, last piece. Excellent. So there we go. The pasta is cooked, but there's far too much liquid in it. Learning for next time, don't put so much water in. Right, let's try it. Bit of chicken, bit of pasta. Mm. I'll tell you what. Add in the chicken really makes a difference to this. It's really nice. Well, actually, I was wrong about the pasta. There was there wasn't really too much water. Once it cooled down a bit, it turned more into a, like a sauce, which is yeah. So it's okay. I wouldn't put it in my top ten hits, I suppose. No, maybe not. But there you go. So time for biscuit and some cheese. Nothing but the best. Recently, a lovely guy called Simon, who is, whose channel is called Set for Adventures, hit a milestone with his YouTube channel and he chose to celebrate that by giving a shout out to some of the smaller channels like mine. And uh, he mentioned me. So thank you very much for that, Simon. As a result, I've got um, a number of new subscribers who have popped across from Simon's channel and they've been really nice as well. So I just want to say, I can't remember all your names. I'm, you know, I'm up on a hill um, away from uh, 
technology, apart from this camera thing. Um, but thank you very much for popping across and, and for, your, for your lovely comments over the last uh, few days. It's been really good. Yeah, and, and thanks again, Siren. It, uh, it really did help. Not that I'm really doing it for subscribers and likes and all the rest of it. Um, I'm really doing it because it's something that I, I tried to make films of the trips and discovered that I really enjoy the process of making a film and the process of editing. I've got this sort of technical background and it satisfies my technical nerdiness and enables me to get out on the hills as well. But it is very, it's very tempting to get sucked into like trying to do stuff just for subscribers and likes and stuff. And I'm hope I hope I'm not really doing that. But um, it does feel really really good when someone new subscribes, and uh, and the comments are, yeah, they they do make me feel good. I just hope that um, I don't go down this rabbit hole of chasing like mad and I just carry on making videos that I want to make and then I, ca I carry on improving and and getting better at it. Anyway, I'm going to finish my tea and my cheese and biscuits and then I'm going to watch a film and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. I did promise to show you my setup. Um, this is the Lan Shan One. It's only the second night I've used it. I think I've pitched it okay. You can see I've got the sun on it this morning. I've wedged the door open with me uh, stick just to get a bit of breeze through. And inside, as you can see, quite a big vestibule is my rucksack there, that's the uh, Osprey Exos 48 and the cook set and water and then inside uh, I've got the door open Nemo sleeping bag as usual on uh, the mat, I've let the mat down and then I've got this just this thin reflective thing on the bottom as you can see there's quite a lot of room in this and more than I was expecting and up at the top end, uh, it's all my bags, clothes, electronics, bag full of bags. That's it really, not much more to see. Nice. Okay, good morning. So you can see I'm already all packed up, ready to go. There's uh, no trace of where I've been apart from the obvious flattened grass that we all get. Yeah, I decided not to bother with breakfast. It's about seven o'clock now. Uh, there's people around <laughs> all over the place already. So I thought rather than have breakfast, I'll just get a move on and get down the hill. Uh, it's pretty cold. I had to put my hat on. Brecken's looking good, I'll just show you now. Unfortunately, sunset and sunrise weren't up to a great deal, but uh, anyway, let's get on the move. Right, so that's the end of another adventure for me. I've just got to walk back along the road, back to the car and then uh, get myself home safely. Been a real good one this, really enjoyed it. Very quiet, no wind, no rain. Just me and these lovely mountains you can see behind me. It's 
what it's all about, isn't it? Reconnect. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe, press the little bell, all comments gratefully received. And in the meantime, get yourself out on your own adventures. Nothing like being just you and a mountain. Brilliant. So, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.